This video is about repairing a seized solenoid to tone arm linkage in a Biogram 4000. For more information please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. Here you see the part in question. This is the linkage that connects the plunger of the uh, tone arm lift damper with the tone arm which is up here. And so whenever the uh, solenoid pushes down here the plunger is pushing back this linkage and then the linkage pivots around a point up here and it lowers its front end and that liberates the uh, tone arm so it can sink down on the platter. So this video is about liberating this linkage and re-lubricating this pivot point, which in my case here was completely seized up uh, because of hardened lubricants. Let me first give you a brief demo how this manifests itself from the front. So when you when you push out the arm, then it doesn't snap back as it should because of that linkage that is stuck. You see here, it doesn't come back. This here shows the assembly from the back and here you see this linkage stick out. And so the linkage goes into this groove here and when everything is okay, it's always uh, pressed down by a spring that is underneath here. So this here demos now the stuck linkage that I encountered. And so you see here when I push it up, it comes back only very reluctantly. And so the arm is not held in position. Now let me give you a demonstration how it should be. See when I push the arm out, it sort of snaps back into its position. And here you see it from the back how it should be. So you see here that this here always snaps back into the groove and it keeps the arm here parallel. Okay, let's get down to it. So to get this linkage out, we have to take out the uh, assembly that holds the sensor arm in place. And for that we need to remove these two screws and then we can pop it out carefully without damaging these leads here. Here comes bolt number one. And bolt number two. Now we can take out the assembly. Before we can get the linkage out, we have to remove this spring here. You see here that the pin that holds the spring in place also came out. So later on we will have to super glue it back into its hole here. Now we can get at the locking washer. The best way is to use a small screwdriver. Let's not forget the small spring. Now comes something a little bit dicey uh, because in my case the uh, pin here was completely seized with the linkage. I had to free up a little bit of space here so I could actually push it out without interfering with these leads. And for that I needed to push out the arm, the sensor arm a little bit from its uh, fixture. And so this is pretty uh, tight and so one has to work on this a little bit. You will see this now. So the first step is to take out the screw that holds it in place. And I also uh, marked it here so I, it was easier to get it back. And so now you see here I have to wiggle this pretty hard in order to move it. Okay, now there is enough space to pull this uh, linkage out. You will see that it will come out together with the pin it is supposed to rotate on and this pin here that is press fit into the base of this assembly but over time it came loose and the only way that this was still able to rotate a little bit was because the pin was rotating in its socket. But anyway, let's see how I get it out. It's all a little bit tough. So one has to use careful strength. You see here it's really tough to get at there and I'm fighting a little bit with it. 
but with a screwdriver I'm able to finally push it out and then liberate it. So you see it came out together with the pin and so uh, I had to take this actually to my workbench and press it out in a vise after uh, putting some WD-40 on there to give it a little bit of lubrication. So I carefully pushed it forward and backward and that then finally allowed me to take it out. If you ever do that I recommend that you uh, use wood in the vise so you can actually you know, drill a hole into a wood block and so apply the pressure to the entire part so you don't bend it and also the wood prevents things from getting scratched. Here you see the pin after I liberated it. Now it is time to glue the pin back into its socket so I put a little bit of super glue in there And there comes the pin. And I measured before, of course, how far it was sticking out. And so I'm making sure here that it has about uh, five millimeters on the other side. After gluing in the main pin, I also glued in the pin for the spring. I forgot to videotape this. So the next step is to put the linkage back on and so one can put here a little bit of silicone grease and around here and then you can pop the linkage back on and it should go nice and easy. The next step is to put the spring back in. Now we can put the spring and the locking ring back on. So the spring is already here and the locking ring goes on best with locking ring pliers. Here you go. Once the ring is on there shouldn't be too much pressure on this spring. So after the ring uh, has been put into place you need to test this here whether this still moves uh, freely. And you see here this is pretty good. Now it is time to push the arm back. Again, that's a little bit a dicey operation. Don't forget the bolt to hold the arm safely in place. Now it's time to put the arm assembly back into place and so the best is to hold with one finger the linkage up and then make sure that this part of the tone arm assembly goes above this uh, plate here of the sensor arm assembly while the linkage of course needs to be in that groove after. So here we go. And now we can put the bolts back in. Once the bolts are back in, it's time to align the sensor arm assembly. And that's not entirely straightforward. You may have seen I, I made some sharpie markings down here at the base in the hope that this would help me in the end to get things back into alignment easily, but this wasn't of much help. And the reason for that is of course that already one or two or three degrees off here make this arm look out of alignment. And so what I came up with is to align the plate here that also holds the uh, cover that goes on here to align this plate perpendicular to the uh, rods on which the carriage is moving. That ensures that this enclosure um, looks uh, aligned with the rest of the turntable once you put everything back together. Now if after doing this here the sensor arm is at an off angle here, so it's not orthogonal to the uh, rods. Then you need to loosen these two screws and align it so it's uh, perpendicular. So if this here, if the tone arm is still as it was when, it, when the turntable left the factory, then once you do this, you should actually obtain here a situation where both are parallel and the uh, linkage is just at the bottom of this groove and so you get this situation here. So it snaps back and everything is nice and snug.
Okay, now you know how to get a seized solenoid to tone arm linkage going again in a biogram 4000. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.